Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien rounded off the session saying that the case is now closed and the allegations put to rest. Uh, he's glad that the House agreed to focus on the facts and truth and not just on wild allegations, rumours or perceptions. And Mr Teo says the review reaffirms the country's belief in the importance of a clean government. The biggest challenge now is to build a system that brings in good people to serve and take Singapore forward. All members of this House know that coming into politics entails many sacrifices in privacy, continuous exposure to the glare of the public eye, especially in this age of the social media, in their careers, in family time, and not always being there to watch your kids grow. If they have served well, the satisfaction of having done so is the biggest report, reward. That makes it all worthwhile. Mr Teo says the Prime Minister firmly acted on the matter by calling an independent and thorough examination by CPIB, even though reports from the Law Ministry and SLA do not indicate a high likelihood of wrongdoing. While well, clarifications have also been made about the government's commitment to integrity and a high standard in the working of government and in Singapore. Just think about it. A member of the public would be outraged and report it if a public officer were to ask him for a bribe. And more importantly, a public officer would be outraged if he were offered a bribe and would report the person who had done so. This is a virtuous circle that we must maintain, and the work is never done.